What's up, people? Welcome to a map called Industrial Plant Challenge. She's. Did, did we do this one? No, we uh, didn't do it. Oh, lady. Are you sure we haven't done this one? I don't think we have. It kind of looked reminded me of one, but I don't think so. To I, 20, I like the fact door. that there's random stuff everywhere. That's the best part. 20,000. Put it in the map. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. So okay. there's a there's a uh, twenty point door over here twenty point twenty thousand door over here, Cuda off the wall here. Nice. Yeah, I'm hitting this thing, dude. Why not, right? It's a challenge map. It's in the map. You put it in the map. We're taking it. I don't know what it is. What Ooh. is it? Oh, uh, you got perkaholic. There's only seven perks. You got perkaholic. Look at that. Hey, if I cry enough, no. I'll get oh, perkaholic. I, di I didn't cry. Oh. What am I, meaty? Come on. <laughs> yeah. So it's 20,000. Oh, it's 2,500 for that door. There's the pack. I know. I saw that. I'm hitting the crate. That That's was good. great. That was a great one. Meaner, neener. Meaner, neener. Boom. Ooh. All right. Got this do guy. it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Guy. Oops, whoopsies. What is that? What hey, there's an F-150 up there, dude. Let's drive it away. Let's do it. We got to get 20,000 to open that door. Is there any other doors to actually? Yes, oh, right 2,500, all right. All right, all right, I got you. I got the coods. I got the coods. I got you. Coods! Neener, neener, neener. Neener, neener, neener. Hey, Aww, are you hungry? I got little, I got little Arnie's. Are you hungry? Yeah, I want some bananas. If you want some bananas, you eat bananas over here. Bananas. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You want some of that? You want some of that? Go to yeah. <gasps> neener, neener. How much is this thing? I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah, this is what you have to do. You have to jump like a pro. Pros jump. Hey, I got perks. Hey, you did it. Well, I love when you I love out. when you get perkaholic or when you're playing a game and it's shopping like you, free. Nice. And you go open that twenty thousand. Ah, <laughs> Jug 20, is out 000. here. Oh, I I did it, but it didn't it didn't stop anything. Is that it? Hey, you opened it. Oh, I did. Yeah. Is there anything else to open? I'm looking. Power? We got power. Dude, power was what, hidden what? behind a 20,000 point door? <laughs> Hold on. Let's uh, let's re let's recalculate no, this I'm, a second, I'm you guys. Glad, I'm glad that we got the gobble gum then, because that's crap. Power was hidden behind a 20,000 point door. That's enough to make you want to punch someone in the throat. Maybe. Meer, meer. Oh, just in time. Just in time. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I've got all three. I forgot. I got. Oh, no. Such <laughs> it. Is this actually do something or is this just put it in the map? Put it in the map. <laughs> put that there. That really sets the tone. So this is this is a combination Zen Garden and Cemetery. And industrial complex. Did you see what was outside the other way? Yeah, it was uh um, oh. it was stamina up and and jug. Oh dude, you're crazy. Oh you all you got me killed. <laughs> you're such a douche. What happened? Yeah, <laughs> that would have insta down me, dude. What happened? What a jerk! What happened? There's Brand? Jug. Damn it! Hey, we should check to see if there's some sort of ending. You never know. Shopping you free. never know. Yeah, shopping free. Buy stuff. Why don't you buy it? Come on. You want some of this? Maybe you want a little shotgun. Maybe you weren't ready for the shotgun. Man of that? war. I am a man of war. 
What? Bam! Man of War! Dread Armada! Neener, neener, Oh, it was almost the guns of Galaga. The Galaga. We got a kitchen. Is there anything on this thingy here? So what is this one called again? Industrial... Industrial Plant Challenge. The challenge is to earn 20,000 points to turn on power. But you put the the gobble gum in, no way I'm waiting 20,000 to get power. What is this? Not happening. Do? But that's the challenge. Shut up. 20th. Am I shooting through that building like you are? Yeah, you are. Boom. Boom, boom. What do you got? What'd you get? What'd you get? Yes. yes. Oh, that almost downed me. <laughs> do it. Race to 22. Race to 22. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should keep these things because they annihilate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Very fast. Fasolonius. What do I got in there? Coke. Oh. Hey, look at me. Watch. I'm a magician. Whoa, where'd you go? Yeah. It's magic in. That takes <laughs> skills to pay the bills. I'm just saying. So this doesn't. Wow, See? this is this is Veruk perks, dude. Not even Veruk perks, dude. I don't even know what weird combination of perks this is. Because it's it a challenge. It has mule and dead shot, but then the standard issue. But it doesn't have like uh, cherry or widows or any of that stuff. So that's a weird combo of perks. Where I went with perk package 2.5, please. All right, it's time to pack the uh, siege. Oh, you make... got Siege? Oh, dude. The circus now, time. You got the circus. <laughs> hey, we're actually in... Dude, okay, I just noticed this. We're inside what? a building with grass. <laughs> Look, there's a roof on this place. Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize. I just thought it was a dark sky. I didn't even look up. Will you survive my challenge? Find out. 20k door. What? 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 what, 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 what you, your circus act over there. Yeah, I'm making quick circus. work. It's a, it's a rush to round Cer twenty-two. Circus. Cer Is there only three spawner points? I don't know. There's that one, that one, and this one. Two windows, ground spawner. Saved you. Thank <laughs> goodness. You got All the I circus had was act the going on over there. It's like the big time. Under the big top. There we are. We're on, we're on did, the next did round. Did we get a max ammo or something? Or does this Krokuda have just a ton of ammo? You must have just got a max ammo because <laughs> I I'm at 50 know. and 216. I've been shooting it for two rounds straight. Oh, don't worry. You'll be able to fill it up right here. Doonch, 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 doonch. I still remember that one. Go, go, go. Boom. What, every time? Yeah. <laughs> I know what y'all trying to do, and I don't appreciate it. Oh! Oh, that one did hurt. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> that one was close. You guys don't know you can block other people's explosive uh, shots off your back and then kill them. <laughs> oh, yeah. It'll kill for sure. You can kill it. Oh. It oh. will kill. You ever watch kill. Forged in Fire? It will no. kill. Maybe. Oh, maybe I did see that. That sounds it familiar. It's all right. It's one of those typical shows, though. You know, it's like interesting, the concept. But then by the time season 50 rolls around, you're like, <laughs> you know? You're like, yeah, yeah. It's always interesting in the beginning, and then it's just like, mm. Well, because I think that people come up with, like, a creative idea. And this is in general here. Yeah, people yeah, yeah. come up with a creative idea and you start a series, whatever it may be, you know, like Criminal Minds, Law and yeah, Order, yeah. you know, uh, SWAT, FBI. By the time season two, then season three rolls around, something else happens. Good, 
Well, not just that, but most of the good, really good ideas are gone. You've already done them. Well, here's, here's, let me give you an example of something that, oh, this might be an unpopular example, but a, while, a long time ago, there was this show called The Unit. Yeah. All right. And it was based off of, uh, you know, like a Delta Force. They're special forces. They only answer to the president and they had these awesome missions all over the world. All right. Yeah. But then season two started implementing how the wives were having issues at home with with like bills oh, or yeah. cheating. Yeah. They were cheating yeah. or whatever. Anyway, and it started, you had these guys that were like Delta Force. And the same thing happened with uh, SEALs, the Navy SEALs show. Oh, they did the CBS. same thing. So season two, you know, the one guy's wife died in a car accident. And the one guy was cheating. And the other wife was a stripper. And, you know, it's just like, okay, I, I'm watching the unit. And I'm watching SEALs for the military action yeah, yeah, story yeah. aspect. I don't want to see these super warriors of the yeah, world. Yeah. <clears throat> like you the know, housewives or whatever. Dealing with the like, real housewives of, yeah, yeah. of San Diego. You know? <laughs> it's yeah, like, exactly. And, and here's the thing. Who who is wa who are watching those shows? People that that are interested in the military aspect of it, the guns, the you know all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not not the yeah, housewives. Why are you putting in? Why are you putting in the stupid? I mean, look, stuff who in? watches those housewife shows and the the bachelorettes and all that? Ninety that's, Day Fiance. That's probably more women, right? Because yeah, it's yeah. about em emotional feelings and all that stuff. I mean, maybe there's a lot of men. <laughs> Listen, here's I can only speak for myself. I don't watch those shows you know why i don't yeah. like putting drama into my life i have enough to deal with on my own yeah, yeah, that i don't yeah. i don't get joy off watching other people suffer no i really don't and a lot of those shows people love to say like oh my god did you see she totally cheated on her husband because all he does is work all day and earn a living for them and put her in yeah, a big yeah. house you know or yeah, yeah. vice oh, versa or her or, she's lonely or it's like the woman she's like the, she has this awesome company she works her yeah, butt off yeah, and the, yeah, the yeah. douchebag husband surfs yeah. all day and then cheats on her you yeah. know it's not it, it's not about men or women it's about just bad yeah, yeah. people and yeah. i don't get off on watching other people's pain and misery Suffer. because i'm just trying to get through my own life man oh, dang yeah. so i don't yeah, like those, those shows those, those shows drive me nuts but to make a long story super long my point is <laughs> the concept comes out and it's awesome the first season the second season always fails because they're like well let's push these guys into the drama aspect of real life and people might be saying, but Meaty, that... No, no, I get that. I get that. If I want to watch a drama series about the involvement of family and military life, fine. Then make a show like that. Don't take yeah. my Navy SEALs who go out and kick some serious butt. Yeah, and yeah. Have, you want to see operations and cool dude, stuff like that. And know? it's not just... It's, it's, it's actually not. not all action. It's like drama about those guys and the team dynamic yeah. and someone gets hurt, blown up, then these guys go after them or they save this little kid over in, you know... Uzbekistan or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know there is drama in there, and it's it's based around the concept of the show. Don't yeah. go off the rails and give me the Real Housewives of of uh, you know Newport Beach or whatever. <laughs> I don't want that. If I Dude, want to, so that I'll watch The Bachelorette or Bachelor, or whatever those shows are called. And those are terrible shows. That's like making a meat market out of people. There's an H out. Oh, there's an HVK here. On the wall, where you can't even see it, actually. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like it's... invisible HPKs. They're pretty cool. They're strong. I, They're strong. I was gliding along the wall all of a sudden, and I kept on seeing text pop up, and I'm like, what the hell? They're strong. You gotta go. If you're gonna go HPK, you go with the invisible one, because that's, mm -hmm. be mm -hmm. that's the mm -hmm. best version of it. They won't see it coming. But then again, dude, just to any of you guys that are out there crying about what I said, I'm a different breed of cat, <laughs> man. I'm a weirdo. I know. I don't like things that a lot of other people like, and the things I like, a lot I of people don't like. But that's I... that's what makes you guys interesting to me. And if you can't see that, that's fine. But if you like something different, then you're interesting to me because, you know, it's like the whole opposites attract. What you know, learn something new from others. You're interesting. Yeah, I'm not. Exactly. You know, stuff like that, dude. I can never. I've never run out of Krokuda. I've been using it this whole time. 
I don't know what it's got. It's got him. All right, he's under 100 rounds. Give him max ammo or something. He was like, this thing is. Throw it on the ammo. I should have went with the invisible version of the Crocuda, though. That's the best I hear. <laughs> Woo! Dude, that's Meaty's political topics. Yeah. Yeah, that's not political. It's, it's not? Gar Listen, let's just be honest. It's garbage TV. You can find it entertaining it's still it's not like substantial it's not like you're watching a documentary on something learning something or like a really cinematic experience or a yeah. good story it's just it's just smut it's just well you know what they, they drama, call dude. it reality tv right yeah when if you guys don't know this i'm going to tell you this it's actually the opposite of reality tv it is so staged you yeah, know that yeah. show catfish remember that Oh, yeah. On MTV or whatever, or yeah. whatever it was on. So if you guys don't know, Catfish was like, you know, someone would be acting like they're somebody else, trying to date somebody, whether it was m most of the time, some of the time is malicious, and some yeah. of the time it was like they were confused and they really liked the person, but it was like it was a girl acting as a guy or a guy acting as a girl or whatever it was. So turns out, and if you watch the show, you're like, wow, this is crazy. Turns out it's all staged. Yeah, you can't trust any of it. The whole Dude, show's even, staged. They said, here's the even, deal. Most of the time, it was the person doing the catfishing that would yeah. call the show and say, hey, I've been trolling this person. Because the, the catfisher is the, always the last person you see. You learn about the catfish E oh, you know, right. and, and yeah, their yeah. plight. But they said the only thing that they didn't do was tell the hosts what the deal was. The hosts were unknowing about what the deal was to try and get some authenticity with their yeah. reactions. But most of the time, it was a total setup because it was the person doing it. That Because I always wondered, why would people want to come on here if they were being mean or trolling or doing whatever? And because they're the ones that called the show. Yeah. It's not reality TV at all. Because you know why? You, you know, here's the truth, everybody. And you know this from experience reality sucks reality's not entertaining it's look hard at you, life look at hard. your day-to-day -day life my day-to-day -day life yours that's reality Depression, and reality's anger. not entertaining it's it sucks no but i think that's why some of them watch it and the reason why i know that the escapism because my wife watches those all the dang time i can't even be in the same room dude it really? drives me nuts really? drives me nuts but she's like oh i watch them because their lives are so pathetic and horrible. It well, makes me feel better. About that's what my I'm own saying life. too. See, I'm they like, they watch the for hell? the misery of others, right? And say you might be able to evaluate, saying, "Well, I guess my life's not so bad." This dude's like, a total doucher, you know. He's a train wreck. Yeah, this dude's cool. a train wreck. You know, you see these people. They oh, got like he's a millionaire, here. got all this stuff, but then he's losing his business and his house. You're like, <laughs> sucker, you know. <laughs> you're yeah, like yeah. you're like the the jealousy and envy comes out and you you oh, really actually yeah. wish you wish pain on others it's like wow dude this sucks yeah no. i don't i don't ever wish that on on anyone else you know yeah the, the money thing is horrible like it's bad karma dude no nah, just because they have more money than you like i'm no, sorry the envy but aspect they owe you it? nothing you know they owe no, you no 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 if anything you should be envious that you you just want to be that same way not of them but of the situation like you yeah, yeah. you'd like yeah, to like, be in a in a situation yeah, of course where you, well that's why they get that's why people get jealous and envious and angry because they're not in that situation yeah but you they gotta be able to separate it out right you separate it out from the person to the situation yeah, that, yeah then that's yeah. a little bit better that's less damaging to yourself whoop, 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 whoop. I actually like reality like what I'm saying is like if I'm going yeah, through yeah. something dude I engage yeah. it yeah that's why I don't drink you know yeah. I, yeah. I engage it because I get off on trying to beat it, whatever it is. You know, if there's a solution to be had, I try and hunt that down. And that goal of working toward a solution to fix it or make it yeah, better, yeah. that's what I get off on. Even though, and but to do that, you have to deal with the pain of whatever it is. Yeah, right? well, you, that's just it. Real life is, is suffering. That's like yeah. a, a Buddhist philosophy is all life is suffering. I'm it into is, it, true. dude. I'm into it. I, I mean, I don't wish it upon myself, but if no, it happens, no, no. I'm like, all right, meaty, time to get, time to get off the the crybaby boat. You know, yeah. chin up, head down, go, do this. You just put it in gear. Put the coals to the fire, people. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I get off on that, dude, man. It's like I feel like life is challenging me. I love competing oh, and I love challenges. And what's the ultimate challenge other than something within yourself, right? Yeah. Because yeah. there's no one to impress. There's no one no, going to say, no. "Oh, Meaty, you weren't feeling good last night, and you got oh, you got through it. Good job." No, it's something totally personal and private that you do on your own time. And sometimes it's not successful, though. You know, it's not yeah, always yeah. like, "Oh, yeah. yeah, I can easily do that." No, if you could easily do, do it, then then you wouldn't. You know, it wouldn't be like. Uh, if you beat that challenge, it wouldn't be rewarding at all. Yeah. For sure. You guys, this costs 99 cents a minute to listen to this type of talk between <laughs> Guns and I. So just send it via PayPal. Uh, <laughs> you know, they have those 99 cent a minute tip line hotlines for for your... Not not the ones you do. Not the ones for your pleasure. But I mean, like, the ones that help you yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Not the ones where you, you talk to some grandma in prison. And she's like, oh, honey, I love you so much. You have a sexy voice. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> make sure you drink your milk. No, grandma's going to touch you. You can trouble me for a warm glass and shut the hell up. <laughs> Dude, 22. What? I'm not even waiting. Oh. Yeah, he was face to crotch. I knew it. 